Hello and welcome to this unboxing of the Monos Carry-On Pro Plus suitcase. This cost £320. First thing is the front pocket, because that was the reason I got this one. Because it's extremely handy to have a front pocket in a carry-on bag. Oh yeah, it just comes open like an accordion. Very nice. Second like inside there. So we've got all these pockets. This I guess can fit laptops and stuff. What I was worried about was how much that compromised the inside space. So, I'm going to check that out. Okay, so, we have a combination lock. Nice. And there we go. Open these clips. It's got this compression, like, pad thing. So, whatever you put in there, you can push it down with this, I guess. And that's got two pockets in it. Oh, <laughs> these clips are really nice though. And they're, they're screwed in. These are properly screwed into the, to the case here, rather than like sewn in or whatever. So I can definitely feel the front pocket in there. Now I can feel that it's compromised the space in this bit quite a lot, so I hope that's okay. You can see it's like the width of my hand. So if I want to get my drone in here, here's my DJI Mini 3. So it's fully packed. Now this would probably be for clothes because of the compression. So because of that front pocket, it is a bit cramped. In fact, it sticks out by quite a lot, you can see there. So if that pocket wasn't there, you can see this groove, it would be a good centimetre further down. But let me see if I can squeeze it in anyway. So let's say I'm packing that like that. No, you wouldn't really. Right, so let's try this side. Okay, these clips you squeeze. Check the compression thing. Now with this side, you've got the two telescopic handle rails going down it. So that's also compromising this side. Now this is why I never usually get um, hand luggage suitcases because you have all these little limitations like this, which is really frustrating. Whereas if you have like a backpack, you don't have any of that stuff, but you know, you have to put it on your back, so. Okay, so that still sticks out a little bit. Okay, so maybe like that. Okay, I did the compression things up. Now obviously it looks ridiculous because the only thing I've got in there is the drone. I need some other stuff. Then it'll look a bit more flat. And now obviously I've got nothing in except the drone. So I reckon, I reckon you can fill that up and then you'll still be okay. Because this doesn't come up to the edge, obviously. There's still some leeway. So this will come up. So you can definitely get a drone inside. It's a tight squeeze, but I can do it. In here I noticed there's something, and we have a tag. Let's see if I can open that with one hand. Yes. Okay, so we've got a nice black moss tag. Very cool. So these are like 30 quid on the website with a sponge protector and dear friend. The suitcase is born just an empty vessel for belongings. It's an expression of our philosophy on traveling and living well. Simply, thoughtfully, mindfully, beautifully. So journey on. We can't wait to experience the world with you, Monos. Well, thank you. Okay, and we got TSA lock stuff. 
Oh yeah, she's enjoying that, all right. Okay, I'll leave her in there. Well, everything about this uses like luxury, you know. Even this little bag is very nice. This is very fancy. All of this is made very well. This is nice. These clips are unique and nice. The way these are screwed in is nice. Um, just all these little details. And obviously this bag on the outside was very nice. So I need to test this, just like moving it around. If you have sweaty hands, like I do now, it's quite warm. They do show <laughs> on the back, but they disappear. Okay, so it's pretty light. I really like the color, to be honest. It's very nice. Mm. So one thing I saw online about this case is the angled telescopic handle. As you can see, it's angled and it's not just like a square and that should stop like all this kind of wobbling. Now it does wobble a little bit, but it feels quite sturdy when you move it around like this. I'm just gonna do some pushing and pulling. And this is an empty case, so it will be the least stable right now because there's no weight in it. So, and it seems pretty nice. Also in this pocket was these uh, like packing bags. So we got small one, small one, and a big one. And they also seem quite nice. With like drawstring kind of situation going on here. Very nice. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. It feels and looks pretty good. So, I mean, the main thing is to use it, right? I mean, that's the whole point. You get a carry-on case. So I need to just test it and then see how it fares up. Yeah. Okay, so we're now about three weeks later than that previous video. And I took this Monos to Istanbul, two weeks across Bulgaria. I had a road trip and I was stopping at so many hotels and stuff. So this thing was out and in and out and in. And then I took it into Belgium and the Netherlands. And then I got the train back here to the UK. So it's been on many forms of transport. It's been in different cars. It's been in buses and planes and everything. Um, so it's been through all sorts of train stations, metros, and I've been carrying it everywhere. In the middle of the forest, uh, up mountains and stuff. So we'll see how it's fared. So here it is. Uh, so I'm going to give my first, first annoyances, let's say, and that is that these things, these zips are a bit hard to get out, a bit hard to grab because this is kind of in the way, right? So when you whack this on a airport security conveyor thing and they say, okay, get your laptops out and this is supposed to be your laptop storage, then it gets a bit annoying to quickly take these out, especially if they're both down here in the corner, then it's very difficult to get out. So if I open this up, so this is also a bit annoying to do, but it's okay. Um, I try to get my laptop in here with the case. It doesn't fit and the case is quite slim. So I have to put it in this one. And then once I put it in there, I can't put anything. Let me take that out. I can't really put anything else in here. So there's these pockets and whatever is going on here. If I even put, I just threw it away. If I even put this thing in here like that, and then close it, this starts to do all this situation uh, and then it's hard to close. So you are gonna have to either use one pocket or have your laptop without a case and then you can't use anything else. So if you use these pockets and you fill them up with something or if you put an iPad in there and I don't know what you can put in there, some kind of cuddly toy souvenir or whatever, then you're gonna probably struggle to close this. So staying on the outside, we've got a few scratches here. Uh, that one is a proper scratch. You can see there, but otherwise not too bad. Bit. So I'll try and wipe it now. Okay, I've just got some antibacterial kind of wipe. Yeah, okay, if I go hard enough, it comes off. These bits are prone to scratching. This bit is okay, it's prone to dirt. Because this is obviously going on the floor all the time. I'm constantly laying it down like this. And then when you open it, then that bit is touching the floor. So you can see this side is also covered in crap. And then here, <laughs> yeah, there's loads here. When you go into like two wheel mode, because when you're carrying it in on four wheels, sometimes if you go on cobblestones, then it's making a horrendous racket and you need to just pull it behind you on two wheels. 
And then when you do that, like every suitcase, then this bit can scratch the floor. What's happening is, see this bit is coming down, like here, to give you extra storage space inside, but then the wheels are closer to the bottom of this, so they cause the scratching on the floor. So, I mean, it's a trade-off there, really. Like, you're, do you want to trade off a scratch bottom for more space? Because that's what this does. So, if you always use four wheels, then you won't face that problem. <sighs> what do you think, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so another thing that irritates me is the handles. Now, they seem cool, again, in an airport or something, and you've lifted it sideways and you go to pick it up. This bit, can crush your finger extremely easily so it's very easy to hurt yourself with that and I've done it multiple times uh, picking it up from both sides just quickly picking it up and then once you've picked it up it can slide across exactly it can slide across and crush your finger uh, the lock is obviously really good uh, the zips are fine and the handle actually I really like so I heard it would be a bit annoying having the button underneath the handle here rather than on the top but actually I much prefer this because you can rest your hand on the top and you don't push the thing down which happens on other suitcases uh, and it's quite easy to just put your fingers underneath and do that I think that's actually quite a good feature but that's just me and looking back on the inside everything is pretty good like I like these clasps they're pretty nice you just have to get used to pushing there and the fact that there's no like obvious clips, the whole thing is the clip. Uh, so once you get used to that, it's fine. This bit was, this thing was actually quite good. Uh, I find it quite, it compressed fairly well. Although it would sometimes go a bit like wonky. Once you close that, everything's good. I haven't seen any tears or anything like that. Uh, and I was shoving stuff in. The problem that I was worried about at the beginning, having all of this space taken by the pocket on the front was indeed a bit annoying. So you've got this weird perimeter around the outside. So I actually used this to stuff stuff um, and it worked fairly well. So regarding the wheels, the wheels worked perfectly, maybe too perfectly, because what would happen a lot of the time is I would uh, put the suitcase down, just leave it there and it would just start rolling away. And that happened all the time. So if you're on a slightly uneven surface, your suitcase is off and you're gonna to have to go and chase it. But with that disadvantage comes the advantage that the suitcase wheels are really good, really smooth. So the wheels were working very, very well everywhere. Um, and I was throwing it on so many cobblestone streets in Belgium, in the Netherlands, and uh, on all these dirt tracks in Bulgaria when I was driving through the countryside. Uh, and also all the cobblestones in Sofia as well and all the other places I was at. So. This was off-roading everywhere on all kinds of surfaces um, and it was it was coping very well. So the wheels were good and I was trying to get in four-wheel mode and two-wheel mode uh, and they were both good obviously apart from the scratching on the bottom of the case but that's going to be the case of every case. The case of every case. So I think with a suitcase of this price I think if they had some way of locking the wheels so that your suitcase doesn't roll away without you, you'll be on to a winner. They could think of something. The only thing I would uh, I would suggest, but I don't think any suitcase has this. Anyway, overall, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It still looks cool, still looks nice. The scratches are pretty minimal. I think some of the cases might have been battered. Now, I didn't take this uh, into the hold of any planes. I just put it in the overhead uh, lockers and stuff, and it fit fine. And I flew on a, a few budget airlines. So I flew on Wizz Air. It was one of the uh, airlines I took. Um, and they were totally fine with this coming into the overhead storage. So if you're looking to buy a new suitcase at that price range, then this is totally a good one, but it's quite expensive. But I haven't tried any other ones, so uh, I can only give a review on this one and I would recommend it. So there you go. It's goodbye from me and Snoop the dog and Cloudy. Sure.